this is Mr. Everything, and I'm coming at you with another Wargaming in Miniature video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Warlord Games Bolt Action Starter Army for the British. But this is the 8th Army, so this would be the Desert. This would be the guys that fought at Tobruk, you know, and El Alamein and all that, right? Uh, the, uh, the guys that fought um the africa core right and they gives you an it gives you an era it says early and mid right uh but not late right so this is kind of like an early setup to the um the british and it comprised of australians new zealanders south africans south africans indians polish troops and they fought in the western desert Okay, they fought against the Italians and the Germans. Now you notice the the back is all white. They don't they tend not to put anything on the back. But you got an example of the squad there. You have um, pictures of other box sets you could possibly get. It looks like you're gonna get a medium machine gun and a mortar in the package. Uh, let's take a look. <clears throat> uh, you get this right here it doesn't say how many points these are but that's okay you're going to get eighth army infantry a bunch of them 36 of them you're going to get an anti-tank gun a 25 pounder i don't consider that light artillery that's like a 105 right okay i'm going to get the vickers medium machine gun we talked about we're going to get a three inch mortar which is like a 76 mortar you're going to get two bren carriers and a bunch of other junk okay so let's go ahead and open this box up and see exactly what's getting what you're getting inside all right we're got the plastic off so the shininess is a little bit gone but something i want to point out before we go any further uh i put together some parry models uh of the eighth army right the the desert rats package and those parry models they seemed like they were really thin um they didn't they, they felt they felt fragile but they also uh, the arms didn't want to go on together very easily those those arms were um, you had to you had to fiddle with it a little bit to get those arms in the right area uh, and they came with 20 millimeter bases so their bases were uh, a smaller scale so I had to put them on one inch bases to make them, you know, to be able to use them with bolt action. Uh, now, another thing I want you to know is uh, I got this army so that I could put it together and then immediately turn around and sell it. So if you guys are interested in the British 8th Army, you should keep your eyes on my eBay channel. I will probably have these up next week. And hopefully you'll enjoy them. Now, if you want to see any other armies or any other um, types of units or reviews, put that into my uh, YouTube channel. And that way I can go get those armies. I'll put them together and I'll post them also on eBay. And that way you get a chance to get the army that you want fully painted. Uh, plus I do commissions. So just let me know if you want to go direct that route. Okay, let's see what we get inside this box. First thing I want to point out is this box is about twice as big as the German box. Okay, so let's take a look real quick at some of these Ziplocs. This looks like a Bren carrier. And it looks like it's going to be fairly easy to put together. And the reason why I say that is because the tracks and wheels are all one piece. So I'm just going to cut these out and glue them together. So that should be fairly easy to put together, hopefully. Well, there's one Bren carrier. I'm going to dig deep. And I'm going to assume this is my second Bren carrier. And these Bren carriers... Uh, they're probably the tow vehicles for the anti-tank gun and the 25 pounder. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's 
giving me some more of these uh, damage markers, right? And instead of the plastic bases, they put them on the MDF. So this is uh, smoke, fire, and burning, I guess. I don't know what smoke and fire and this, I don't know. Okay. Trying to get to all the big pieces here. Okay, now this looks like a 25 pounder. Uh, that big wheel there, that's not a wheel, that's the base plate. That's It sits on top of that and rotates. Those are the wheels on the side. This is pretty cool. I'm digging it. Packed by Quran. All right. Okay, and this other one, this looks like the six pounder? Six pound anti tank gun, which I think a six pounder is like a 57 millimeter. It's the, it's not the 37, it's not the 76 or the three inch. It's a, it's the mid one, so it's like a 57 millimeter. That's pretty cool. You got these guys. These Doughboys. 8th Army. With their shorts. Okay. Alright, and then we get a bunch of sprues. I think all these sprues are the same. But I'm going to kind of just get them out of the way for now. Because we'll be back to them in just a second. Okay, we got a bunch of guys, like a radio operator, a couple of guys, crew members. These are probably guys that ride the ride inside the Bren carriers. There's a couple of them. Okay. Well, the Bren carrier has a driver already in the plastic, but there's a couple extra guys. Okay. That's what I think it is. And then this, you're looking at the machine gun, the Vickers medium machine gun and crew. Nice. Yeah, and the tripods, one piece on a metal base. That's good. Get the universal carrier card. Yeah, it shows a couple of guys inside. Uh, special rules, open top, turn on the spot. Reese. If it's a Reese carrier only. Uh, add a pintle mount machine gun for extra points. Replace the forward LMG within any tank rifle. Okay. Point cost, inexperienced, regular, or veteran. Shows that medium machine gun up there. That's pretty cool. Now this says late. So this, the uh, universal Bren carrier can be used. It says transport five men. Plus DV7 plus. Very cool. Very cool. Go ahead. Give me a card. Okay, but we're miss, missing something. Let's come on down here. We're looking at the mortar. This is the three inch mortar, which is like an 81 millimeter in that genre, that, that size category. Okay. Except it's 76, you know. Okay, so these are all 60s, right? Yep, 60 millimeter bases. These are awesome. Uh, what are we looking at? We're looking at a medium machine gun. We're looking at a mortar. We're looking at an anti-tank gun. And we're looking at the howitzer. Wow, I didn't realize we've got so many crew served weapons. Okay, and then we get a sprue of eight prone 
So guys that are prone, and I wonder if the sprues have guys that are prone. It looks like we do. Looks like one guy is prone uh, per sprue, and it looks like six sprues. So you're going to have an extra couple of pill bases. That's cool. It was just easier for them to grab a sprue of eight. That's good. I can always use a couple of extra pills, mainly for my uh, Hail Caesar cavalry or my SPQR. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So they gave you a full sheet of 25, 30, 35, right? 35 bases. Um, Minus the one prone, you're looking at one, two, three, four, five. Five times six is 30. Uh, those extra bases will be good for your crew served weapons like your artillery and your anti tank gun, where you can mount the crew members individually so that um, they can either dismount or abandon the gun. Or they can be killed individually and you can just pull the figures off. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, these sprues are all exactly the same. And we'll get into that here when I go through these sprues. Just wanted to get these pa pages out of the way. Okay. So there's the British 8th Army card that you would get with any 8th Army box set that you get. Uh, it tells you what's on the sprue how it's supposed to be attached kind of give you an idea of how they're supposed to be painted just by looking at the uh, and then they're also showing you the berets for the Scottish the turban for the six um, yeah the British officers in the desert were easily recognized. The Bren light gun. You got the two-inch mortar. You got the boys' anti-tank rifle. Uh, the turbans could also be Punjabs. That's cool. And then you also got the gangsters. No, they're Thompsons. <laughs> All right. That's absolutely... And then how to put the, uh, yeah, this shows four guys. Okay, it's this is implying that you're going to get four plastic guys with the, uh, with the brand carrier. Okay. This box was packed by Morella. Mirella. She does a lot of good work there. Okay, so what are we looking at here? I'm seeing um, universal carrier decals. Uh, I only have one of these. So does that mean... Because I'm noticing 57, 57, 62, 62. I'm noticing a lot of divisional markings up here. A lot of like serial numbers or license plate numbers. I like it. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, so take a look at this decal sheet right here. I don't remember all my British units, but those are rhinos. Oh, these are probably Australians. I think these guys are the desert rats. It's all the markings. That's pretty cool. That's super duper cool. All right. Now we also zoomed in so that you can see the sprues because I wanted to show you the individual sprues and I want to look at the sprues myself. Yeah, let's take a look at these guys. Okay, that's pretty close. So let's take a look at the detail. He's got his ammo pouches, straps, 
socks, knees. They're all wearing their knickerbocker shorts, ammo pouches. There's no ammo pouch. Hmm. Okay. Reloading. Looks like cocking his bolt action. Holding it one hand, I like it. Okay, got a couple of different types of Thompsons. Well, you got, that's probably a mortar. Can you see that? Okay, that's probably a mortar shell. That's reloading a magazine. Probably for a Bren carrier. There's a, uh, that looks like he's got a pistol grip in his hand. So you would glue it under there, where that is a separate pistol grip. So you would uh, not glue his hand. He might be waving or something like that. Um, yeah, he's probably holding the handle of the Bren above it. A spare barrel case. Okay, we got a couple of Brens. He looks like he's hip firing. He might be prone. What? They give you sandbags. Oh, they really base out your little bases. You got your anti tank rifle. You got a guy here with a bayonet attached. You got a couple of, almost every one of them has a bayonet. You got bayonets there. Even the one that's slung over his shoulder has got a bayonet. Okay, you got the officer's cap. Backpacks. Got a bunch of different backpacks, some with uh, bedrolls uh, tucked and some without. Ammo pouches, just in case you want to add some extra ammo pouches. Pistol, shovel. This guy's holding a pick. Pickaxe, that's pretty cool. Got a loose bayonet there. Um pistol with lanyard these legs are probably for him because the kneeling guy's got his weapons attached got your mortar right there bipod down for the prone Bren gun. Let's take a look at some heads. Give you a whole selection of the Punjabs. That's cool. Oh, different type. The one with the, uh, the six. These look like Indian troops to me. And then you got the Scottish guys right there and then you got your standard helmets right there and it looks like you got six of each one of them So depending on how you want to go, you're gonna be able to do whatever you want Because you only get six figures per sprue. So you're getting six of each of the different styles of heads. Oh No, now I got decisions to make I only see one officer helm head uh, but that's okay. Yep, these guys look like they're going to be easy to put together. And you get 36 of them, right? 36 guys plus all the crew and everything. All right. Again, I'm going to be putting these together next week. So if you're interested in an 8th Army uh, fully painted and kitted out, um, you can comment on this YouTube channel if you want to see or if you need a specific type of uh, unit. Um, 
I'll be glad to accommodate you. But I do plan to put this up on eBay for bidding. Um, but I always also add a buy it now too. So you would get, you could, I, you could just jump on it right away when it goes up. Okay, let's take a closer look at this Bren carrier. Oh, you do. One, two, three, four. Oh, wow. That's what I wanted to make sure you get. You do get four guys. You get a big tarp right there. Oh, hold on. You get the pintle mounted. And you get the, probably the, um, what do they call it? Bow mounted machine gun. You get a pintle mounted machine gun. Does this give you an option for an anti-tank rifle? Don't see it. But I could probably convert one of those other anti-tank rifles. But I probably won't even do that. All right, guys. Thanks for coming out and checking out this uh, British 8th Army unboxing of their starter army and taking a look at the review of all the different figures that are in there. In a couple of weeks, you should be able to see these on my on eBay. And uh, if you want to um, pick it up, go ahead and grab it. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one.